Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and a deck review that has been requested probably the most out of all the cards. This is Shakespeare's first folio deck and uh, like I said this is the most requested deck so we put one together and we are going to take it into the arena and see how it goes. So Shakespeare's first folio. Okay, let's have a look at the deck and the deck code. I'm going to show you a little bit different this time. I'm going to show you how to put in the deck code because a couple of people have asked how you do that. So the deck code is NKYYZ2. There we go. I've already got this deck built, but I just wanted to show you there. So it's a little bit different to the one on the left. Same cards, just in a different order. Anyhow, let's have a look at the cards. So the first one out is the Magna Carta. Great card, 2 for 15. It is a limited legendary on the draw. Your epic and rare cards, wherever they are, cost minus two until played. And on the play, your Declaration of Independence and Universal Declaration of Human Rights cards in hand gain plus 20 this turn. Well, I haven't got either of those two cards, but I am going for the energy saving on the epic and rare cards. Okay, you will notice that there is a lot of epics in this deck. It's obviously got Beowulf in it. We'll have a look at that one at the end. Uh, next one up though is the power of zero not for one another epic card uh, on the draw your opponent's cards in hand with 50 or more base power lose minus 49 and cost minus two no sorry cost minus one energy for two turns we can just about afford to play this little baby the epic limited card it is siege tower six for 54 your cards in hand gain plus a 32 power and cost plus two energy until play this is a six 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 if you look at the deck on the left you will see it's in a better order than where i'm going through now um, but it is a six 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 one six history six science and six arts and culture and like i said we are building it around beowulf and shakespeare to get the benefit of those two cards next one obviously another epic science card is the door to hell your cards in hand burn 50 until played and gain plus 50 this turn super card quite uh useful i would say and then here we go one of the arts and culture cards we've got three tarot cards as normal or normal as often we do i should say uh, the tower crate card this on the draw all cards in both players hand lose minus 10 until played and then on the play if you're winning a random card in your hand gains plus 100 this turn and if you are tied or losing a random card in either player's hand gains plus 100 this turn and don't forget those are revealed before scoring so you can see where those 100 points go a uh, twin paradox awesome card on the return this card gains plus 25 and costs minus one permanently five for 50 i'm really liking this epic card it fits in really nice when you do a beowulf deck as does the hero font another super cool card and second of the tarot cards i think or second of three uh on the play if your deck is exactly three tarot cards which we do give them wherever they are plus 27 permanently six for 47 on the play absolutely amazing card really when you play that with two other tarot cards and here is the third one i've gone with the lovers i don't normally play this one but because of the energy is quite low this week uh eight for 70 is ex expensive to play uh but you only play two cards with this one because on the play if you play exactly two cards this turn and the cards are adjacent so make sure they're next to each other give both cards plus 70 this turn and this card gets really powerful and you can be hitting four or five hundred points just with two cards back to history then we've got another limited epic the siege of baghdad i love this one on the draw your opponent's legendary cards wherever they are lose minus 25 for three turns absolutely devastating that one uh, if you are playing a legendary heavy deck also gone with Ratkin on the draw your cards in hand game plus 13 permanently and this card loses minus 13 permanently that's one of the weird world ones that's going to benefit from a Shakespeare in a minute Statue of Liberty like I said it is a 666 deck on the play for deck is exactly six science cards your science cards wherever they are gain plus 21 power until played and repeat for each album so because it is 666 every single one of our cards will get that 21 power and then we've got hand fasting what an amazing card it is epic so it fits in perfectly into this deck uh 6 for 57 so not too expensive to play uh and if you play it in the left slot this card and the card adjacent to this game 34 for six turns so it will come back around with that 34 back on it again so it will get really powerful 
Uh, another weird world card, Ronok Colony on the return. If you lost the turn, your opponent's cards, wherever they are, lose minus 10 until played. And if you won the turn, your cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 until played. So pretty useful. But like I said, he's going to work really well with Shakespeare. Another arts and culture card, another epic, another awesome card, uh, Ballet. Uh, on the play, if played in the left slot, your good sports cards, wherever they are, gain plus 24 until played. But this is the one you want to do. If played in the middle slot, this card gains plus 40 permanently. And if you play in the right slot, your history cards in hand gain plus 22 for two turns. So you do have the option because we've got quite a few history cards in this deck to play it in the right. But I tend to play that one in the middle to get the maximum input. And here we go. The guy that we built this deck around. Uh, Shakespeare's first folio. Amazing card. On the play, two each of your random weird world documented and battle cards wherever they are gain plus 25 permanently and if you have a look we've got uh, one battle card we've got two weird world cards and how many documented cards we've got one documented card no two documented cards because Shakespeare will count as well so five of our cards are going to get 25 permanently absolutely amazing card if you build it and he's an epic so he fits in perfectly with Beowulf and then we've got Identity Theft, another epic card. No brainer, really. Eight for 68. On the play, every legendary or for every legendary card in your opponent's deck, up to a maximum of 10. Your cards in hand gain plus four until played. This deck is absolutely amazing. It's going to cruise through pretty much any deck you come up with. And another great epic card, the Grim Reaper Paradox. I love this one as well. Six for 67. On the draw, if it's round one or two, your opponent's cards in hand lose minus 32 power this turn. If it's round three or four, your opponent's cards in hand lose minus 16 this turn. And if it's after round four, so if it's round five, I don't know why this doesn't say that. If it's round five, your cards in hand lose minus 16 permanently. So absolutely useful. I love the Grim Reaper paradox. And there we go. As I said, we are using Beowulf, Shakespeare, and Statue of Liberty, so three deck building cards in this deck. Uh, and we built the whole deck around these three or four, I guess, if you could include the hero front. So a really powerful deck. Beowulf, just to remind you, on the draw, if your deck has 14 or more epic cards, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, exactly. Wherever they are, gain 19 until play. So all 14 of our epic cards are going to get that amazing buff anyhow that is the deck let's go and take it into the arena and let's see how we do i know it's good because i've played it quite a lot there we go we're ranked one seven shields make sure we got that right deck there we go okay let's have a look see if we can get an opponent fairly quickly doesn't look like it come on okay here we go cards what's that called cards everywhere okay there will be cards everywhere cool name Okay, so here we go with our Shakespeare's first folio. Oh, look at that. Grim Reaper straight out at the beginning. And Tower. Oh, 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 I'm power of zero. We've just destroyed his cards. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Cards everywhere. Looks like he's got lots of history cards here. Oh, we've got plus 100 on that one. What was that for? Oh, he's almost got zero. Oh, my word. Sorry about that. Cards everywhere hello anyhow so that's a great start for us he's playing pirates okay well if this is a good pirates deck he could win this game pirates are pretty strong if he knows how to play it but that was a really bad start for him 52 in the league we destroyed his cards there but let's concentrate let's try and get some power on our cards now identity theft's going to be interesting against pirates let's get magna carta out i think that looks good 366 and the 52 Oh, he's going to struggle already. And his energy costs are through the roof. Oh, my word. Okay, he's not... Why has he put Siege Tower in? That is awful. Oh, well, never mind. Cards everywhere. That's not the best deck. Okay, here we go. We are 144 Beowulf looking good. And fasting. I wouldn't mind getting round. Um, should use the Twin Paradox. There we go. Let's see what Identity Theft does. We should get quite a few points again. A good pirate deck. How many is he going to get? 32 on each of our cards. Amazing. 531 points. We are 1-0 up. Cards everywhere. Oh, my word. What kind of deck's that? 
Okay, it's not the strongest pyro deck, so I think we shouldn't have too much of a problem here. So what's next? Oh, there's Shakespeare. Oh, the door to hell is giving us a buff. Rat King doing his job. Nicely, we are burning. Let's get Beowulf around. Look how powerful these cars are already. Five at three at five. That is amazing. And we've still got some powerful cars to come around. Okay, he's starting to get his pirate's cars in a reasonable order, but I think it's too late for him already, to be honest. He's going to struggle with power and points. I don't think it's the best pirate deck I've ever seen, but never mind. Keep going. Siege of Baghdad, nice, takes 25 off two of his cars. That could have been better, but never mind. Um, 265, so we go with two cards and use the lovers? I think we might. Um, let's have a look. No, maybe Shakespeare get him back round again. That might be a good one. One eight three. Oh, finally the pirates hit strong. But is it too little, or too late? We are fairly close actually. We're going to be about thirty points in the lead as we go into the last round or the last turn of this round. Turn three with thirty four points in the lead. I love this deck. Like I said, it gets so super powerful and you do absolutely amazing damage to your opponent as well. And you're fairly well protected because there's only a couple of legendaries in there. One, two, three, four legendaries we've got in this deck. And ballet in the middle, like I said. Three, four, six. Is that enough? Oh, he's got the flying Dutch, but that's not really going to help him, is it? I don't think so. 340 against our 386. I'm not lucky. Unlucky cars everywhere. Okay, so we are now 2 nil up, and our cars now, when they come round, are going to be so powerful, I really can't see us having too much problem. Oh, only one hit from Power of Zero this time. So let's get Statue of Liberty, Magna Carta, and Rat King. 155, not the strongest score. What's going on here? We've got three pirates. You should have a good score here. No? Not really. A bit of damage to us. 56 we've got. <laughs> Nicely played. Cards everywhere. <laughs> Finally, he does something good. And send him a little love heart. There we go. Okay, so we're 177 behind. But we've now got Ham Fast in the tower. Oh, we've got a chance to go for it here. Oh, that, that tower hits itself. That's great. Um, maybe I should go with... Two cards with the lover. That's going to give us that extra buff. What's he doing? He's thinking about this. We've got the lead here. Cards are everywhere, man. Oh, he's confused. I think he doesn't really know what to do. He must be maybe a new player or something. Oh, what is he playing at? He's got too high energy. That looks like his problem. 5-2-1. What a score there from the lovers and the tower. That is amazing. So like, I don't normally play the lovers, but in this deck, it's working really well. So we're back into the lead. One, eight, three in the lead. And now we can go for the kill. And that twin paradox card is looking nice as well. Three, four, nine, plus 32, wasn't it? From identity theft, plus the one, eight, three. He's got no chance. Oh, look at that. 34 from hand fast in. 32, five, one, three. Well played cards everywhere unfortunately good game yeah it was a good game thanks for the game anyhow guys that is our shakespeare's first folio league deck deck code nkyyz2 that's nkyyz2 i'm gonna give this a nine or maybe even a 10 out of 10 because i absolutely love this deck it is really cool anyhow that's another shield i think that's eight shield for us now thank you very much um, we will be back very shortly with some more videos take care everybody bye